Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, and today I just wanted to dedicate a video to sharing my love for the game Chia, which just released yesterday and I honestly can't get enough of. Many of you know that I was lucky enough to experience an exclusive preview of this love letter to New Caledonia back in January, and I've been anxiously awaiting its full release ever since. Believe me when I say that this game is truly something so special and you can literally feel the love that was poured into it by the small team of developers at Alwaseb. I'm so excited to share my highlights from this tropical open world adventure game, but first I must extend my sincerest gratitude to both Alwaseb and Kepler Interactive for not only providing me with a copy of Chia, but for also sending me the most beautiful package to celebrate the game's release. The intention that went into assembling this kit is a perfect visual representation of the very same love and care that went into the game itself. I recorded an unboxing of my experience opening the package for the very first time, and I am so glad I captured this because the presentation was absolutely breathtaking. This was my very first PR package, so I had no idea what to expect, but was I ever blown away. The package included a poster of the game map, which yes, you can actually visit all these destinations in the game, even the tiniest of islands, like one of my personal favorites, Trey's Camp. There are so many great ways to traverse both the land and sea in Chia. You can free climb, swim, dive underwater, set out on your very own customizable sailboat, jump, slide, glide, and even attempt some tricks along the way. You can also implement Chia's unique soul jumping mechanics to traverse the map, which allows you to become one with nature and take control of hundreds of objects and over 30 animals, all of which are friendly and can be interacted with. By soul jumping, you get to work with the environment creatively to embark on quests, improvise in a variety of situations, and complete objectives throughout the world. In the package, there was also a beautiful tiara flower, which I learned early in the game's beautifully written story, is traditionally worn on the right ear when your heart is free to be taken, and when the one has been found, the flower is switched to the left ear as a symbol of love. You'll notice when playing Chia that her flower remains visible as she performs her soul jumps, which I think is such a sweet touch. Of course, my jaw was literally on the floor when I first laid eyes on the custom Chia ukulele. And how beyond perfect, because in Chia, you use your ukulele to perform soul melodies, which can magically affect the world around you, like changing the time of day, for example. You can also free play the ukulele next to the campfire and within the context of guided mini games, which you can also set to auto play if you just want to sit back and enjoy the musical cutscenes as an observer, which I thought was a nice option to offer. I enjoyed so many special moments playing Chia's ukulele during my time with the game, so now I can't wait to learn how to play in the real world too. The team was kind enough to include the written music for Chia's main theme song, so I'll start there and perhaps even ask my brother for some pointers because he is a seasoned ukulele player. And last but certainly not least, a stunning piece of cloth matching Chia's dress was also included in the package, which traditionally would be offered alongside one of several items that represent who you are and your values in the Kutum ceremony of the Kanak culture. This ceremony is performed as a gesture of appreciation and respect for someone, for example when you're being hosted somewhere or for important celebrations. And it is usually reciprocated, so by the end of the ceremony, both parties become bonded by mutual trust and respect. Having this incredible opportunity to learn about New Caledonian culture, both through playing Chia and from receiving these amazing items was truly a blessing. So once again, thank you so, so much to Awaseb and Kepler Interactive for the amazing gift and ability to share all this beauty with my wholesome, cozy community. Now, I'd like to share even more about Chia. When I played the preview for Chia back in January, I was dropped off past the game's introduction and opening story sequence to avoid spoilers, so I was so excited to play the game on PlayStation from the very beginning. Chia's story is interesting, beautiful, and compelling. Under the orders of the Archipelago's evil ruler, Mia Voro, 
Chia's father is kidnapped, and the island has been invaded by strange fabric creatures called Mono. You must use everything at your disposal to overcome obstacles and embark on the adventure of rescuing Chia's dad. I was captivated by the various cutscenes and enjoyed the touches of humor that were sprinkled here and there. I also wanted to note that the game does a really amazing job of naturally and smoothly fitting game tutorial components into the opening story and sequences, which I really appreciate because it was really easy to follow along with learning all the new mechanics and receiving new useful items. It may seem like a small thing, but tutorials can almost make or break the rest of your experience with a game, and the team did such a good job of incorporating it so organically and in a way that made sense to me, so I do have to give props for that. Chia is set in an open world, which is very large, but you can identify specific points of interest by climbing up to vantage points and shouting. The world also feels full, as there are so many fun little mini games like totem carving, rock stacking, rhythm mini games, and shooting range practice with Chia's slingshot. And a lot of these games are not without purpose. For example, as you carve totems, you unlock totem shrine doors, which provide you with opportunities to win extra soul meter slots, allowing you to soul jump for longer periods of time. You can also receive tips and lore from NPCs around the world, find hidden collectibles, and discover a huge variety of ways to customize your experience with hundreds of unlockable cosmetics cosmetics, like outfits, hairstyles, bags, ukuleles, boat components, and more. While Chia is set in a fantasy locale, the real-world inspiration shaping the game's vibrant world is New Caledonia and its culture. From folklore, traditions, and landscapes, to iconic landmarks, biomes, and local fauna, I still can't get over just how stunning this game is. The skies, the water, it is gorgeous. The small team of developers even took a trip to visit the people and places that inspired the game, which I've said before and I'll say again, is something I think we should all appreciate. The game's soundtrack and characters have been brought to life by local talent. As such, Chia's cutscenes all offer beautiful voice acting in Drehu and French, and the accompanying text is provided in English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese, Russian, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. There are also some amazing comfort or accessibility options from a family mode and diverse font options, to replacing button mashing with button holding, and even a no failure mode. I've enjoyed hours and hours of gameplay thus far, but I still can't wait to cozy up on the couch and jump right back in to discover more of what Chia has to offer. Chia is out now on PC via the Epic Game Store, as well as on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, and is available with PS Plus Extra and Premium Memberships. I seriously cannot say enough great things about my experience with Chia, and thank you again so much to Awaseb and Kepler Interactive for the game, the gift, and the priceless experience. Well, there you have it, friends. These are just some of my personal standouts and highlights from Chia. I really could keep talking forever about this game, but I'll leave the rest up to you to discover on your own. Let me know down in the comments if you plan to play Chia, and also let me know what song you think I should learn to play on my brand new ukulele. Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Meredith, Formotus, Tansy, Cisco, Cheese, Divine Raven, and Blossom, my beautiful Sunstone members. I love you all very much, and thank you so, so much for the extra support which really helps to make all that I do on the channel possible and means the world to me.